Unraveling the Mystery of Ensnared Ensign. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to dive into an interesting English language topic. Understanding the phrase, ensnared ensign. This is not just about learning new words, but also about how combining them can create unique meanings. Let's embark on this linguistic journey together. Firstly, let's focus on the word, ensnared. This term originates from the verb, ensnare, which means to trap, entangle, or capture, often in a way that is not easily noticeable at first. It's commonly used to describe situations where someone is caught in a trap or a difficult situation. In our daily life, it could refer to both literal and metaphorical traps. Next, we delve into the word ensign. An ensign is a flag or a standard, especially one used by naval ships to denote nationality. Additionally, it's a rank in some naval services, the lowest commissioned officer rank, like a trainee officer. It's important to note that context determines whether ensign refers to a flag or a person. Now, let's combine the two, ensnared ensign. This phrase could have multiple interpretations depending on the context. If taken literally, it might depict a naval ensign, the flag, being caught or entangled. Figuratively, it could describe a naval officer, the person, trapped in a challenging situation or dilemma. This phrase is a great example of how English allows for creative expression through the combination of words. To better understand, let's see some examples. 1. Literal use, during the storm, the ensign was ensnared in the ship's rigging. 2. Figurative use, as a new officer, he felt like an ensnared ensign, caught between following orders and his moral compass. I hope this exploration of ensnared ensign has been enlightening and enjoyable. English is full of such intriguing phrases that can enrich our communication. Keep learning and exploring, and don't hesitate to get ensnared in the beauty of language. See you in the next video.